The first key thing is to switch and open apps efficiently. So I only use command plus tab to switch between open apps and then Alfred or Spotlight to open apps. This is quite a lot faster than just searching for them in the dock. I don't use the dock or the launch pad to open apps because it's too slow compared to Alfred or command plus tab. I got used to searching Google with Alfred, which is a lot faster than opening your browser and then entering something into the search bar. Alfred can also see your bookmarks, so opening YouTube is also a lot faster. You can also search specific websites, for example, if I type YT in Alfred, I can search directly within YouTube and you can set these up yourself. I keep my dock hidden at all times because it steals that free screen real estate. Look at how much vertical space my apps get when the dock is hidden. If you want to use the dock for switching apps, you can paste this command in the terminal to remove the slow animation when the dock hides itself. If you want to go back to the default animation speeds, use this command. Number two is to stop multitasking. Use fewer spaces and fewer apps. You need more command plus Q, not more productivity apps. While humans can quickly switch between different tasks, they're a lot more efficient when they focus on only one task. Quitting all unnecessary apps gets rid of distractions and allows you to direct your focus to the most important thing. Instead of quitting those apps, you can actually just hide them. If you use command plus H on your keyboard, the app will disappear and the only way to make it appear again is to either click on it in the dock or switch to it with command plus tab. Otherwise, you will not see this app in mission control, so it will not obstruct what you're doing. I try to learn and use keyboard shortcuts because the fewer things I do with the mouse, the quicker I can get them done. For example, opening files, searching Google with Alfred, switching apps apps with command tab and etc. Learning keyboard shortcuts is annoying, but it pays its dividends later. Number three, use an external mouse. The trackpad is just too slow when you want to actually get something done. The trackpad is good for leisure time, consuming media or using your Mac in bed. For everything else, the mouse is faster. Unfortunately, Mac OS poorly handles external mice because Apple wants you to purchase their amazing magic mouse. So here are three apps that will make your mouse actually usable. Number one is sensible side buttons. It enables side buttons to go back and forward in your browser if your mouse has side buttons. Number two is a linear mouse. So you've probably run into this issue where when you connect an external mouse to your Mac, the scrolling direction is opposite as it should be. So this app will let you reverse scrolling on your mouse, but keep the trackpad scrolling direction the same. And it will also remove terrible pointer acceleration that macOS has, and it's impossible to turn off without the terminal. Number three is Mac Mouse Fix. This one will add a middle click to your scroll wheel so you can quickly open links in new tabs or close tabs quicker. I hope that this was helpful to someone out there, but if you're enjoying this video, I'm sure that you'll enjoy my newsletter even more. I send it out once a month with a tip, some cool websites I discovered, or inspiring quotes from a book that I'm reading. You can read it completely for free in the description or subscribe to it by entering your email and you'll get it for free every month inside your inbox. This video was actually made from one of the issues of the newsletter. See you later!